What's up guys? Special thing we're doing today. Today, I'm going to show you guys what happens to a stock K-series transmission when you run 700 horsepower through it, completely stock. No LSD, stock gears, stock synchros, everything. So let's go see. All right guys, just for verification purposes, this is the transmission that is still bolted up to my blown up, you can see it there, blown up K20A2 that put down, we will put through an estimated 700 horsepower through it. It dynoed at 628 at like 24 PSI. At the time it blew up, I was pushing uh, close to 31. So about 31, I think the data set. So completely stock transmission. I'm gonna pull it off here and throw it on the table. Now let's get this table cleaned off. We'll get this transmission up there and get it disassembled. All right guys, up on the table here. Forgot I left fluid in it, so I'm draining it out. Still the same transmission. Fluid is nice and clean. And here's the marking. All right, I'm gonna put you up on this tripod and take it apart. All right guys, so this video might be a little bit longer. So just hang in there with me and uh, we'll get this thing apart. There we go. All right, got it started. It's on the top. There we go. Just for verification before I lift this off. Still. Same transmission. There's the identification. Same, all the metal chips, you see all the metal chips. So let's lift it off and see what it looks like after the abuse of 700 horsepower. There's the inside of the case. Let's get a close up look. All right. As you can see, the synchros, it's kind of hard to see. They still look really, really good. All the gears look good. No metal. Let's 
Should I get this thing to turn for you guys? That was probably the hardest on second, third, and fourth because I hooked 30 PSI in second gear, all the power in the MR2. All right guys, so that's all I have. I just proved to you what a stock transmission looked like after 700 horsepower constantly being pushed through it, constantly being beaten on and abused. Um, to me, some people might think it's a crapshoot or you know, you get lucky with this, you get lucky with that. To me, it's not. It's about the correct fluid. Uh, Torque of RTF, Redline have really good reputations. Don't use Honda OEM transmission fluid. If you're gonna be racing, it's thin, it's too thin. Um, and that stuff heats up and the next thing you know, you know your transmissions blowing second gear so uh, use good fluid if you don't want to pay for good fluid you get what you get can't blame anybody but yourself so there's the proof that 700 horsepower through a stock transmission if you hook hooking is key I know a lot of these Civics don't hook on the street also so fluid hooking on the street the constant revving of the, the red line and shit I always see on YouTube, it drives me crazy. That is not fucking racing. It's not. It is annoying. Get the correct tires. Hook on the street. It can be done. Like, do your research. Make these transmissions last. The K series is very popular. We gotta make them last, guys. So also guys. Leave in the comments below if you want to add your story, if you've had a great success story, even if you had a fail story, maybe we can help you out. Um, if you feel like I missed anything and you could add to it, put it in the comments. I mean, I'm all open, I'm all ears. I'm not a, it's a my way or the highway kind of guy. I am open to anything, so let's talk about it. Well, that's all I got. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, oh well. Um, but, uh, Thanks for watching guys, bye. Okay, it's rap pack to my pulse flat. We keep it real, no false rap. I got four cars and they all black. Got four bras and they all that. We call that darling. Doing this is my calling. Flow is so appalling. My phone off and she calling. I'm like, yeah.